What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. Brad Garlinghouse delivering on yet another promise. He says it's time for the proper victory party. September 29th in New York City. Man, do I wish I could go. I love New York City, and I would love to party with everyone. I have to work around the clock until October 15th. Uh, I won't be attending, but uh, can't wait to see a lot of pictures and reports from that party. It's well-deserved. And I do promise one of these days I will make one of these events. Can't wait to meet everyone. But that's a well-deserved celebration for sure. Can't wait to see that. Uh, today, it was announced uh, that I don't even know how to say this. The Zahao, I guess, uh, sidechain. We're just going to call it the Hooks uh, sidechain here. Uh, the white paper was released. I was going to break it down, go through everything. But what I would tell you is this. We're going to have to see it develop. And guess what? If there's some cool tools, some really awesome apps, I'm going to start getting real excited. If, and you're not supposed to talk about this, if XRP Plus, which is the name of the token that will uh, trade on this Hooks sidechain, if it's really good value, and I think I can make some money, I'm going to get excited about that. At this point in time, you can't really say. All I know is these are some world-class developers. And make no mistake, there's some friction right now. We see... Where'd he go? My buddy on Ledger here saying there's no coincidence that we have the advertising campaign of the XRP celebration was launched at the same time as the Hook sidechain white paper. It's called damage control. And I'll tell you this, there's some rivalry there. There's some difference of opinion, but as investors, we don't have to get involved in that. Who cares? Uh, best case scenario, we get a new chain with some really cool applications and functionality. Nothing really to lose. Worst case scenario, guess what? They're probably going to test out some ideas that will eventually be incorporated on the main ledger here. So I think it's a win-win for us, the investor, the user of these blockchains. And if you have a little rivalry where they're pushing each other, I think that's going to end up being a good situation no matter how it plays out. So I wouldn't get too much into this. Uh, infighting we'll probably see a little bit of. Uh, it's not a major deal. These are great people on both sides uh, here. And I think it will just push both ledgers to new highs. That's really how I see it here. Now, uh, I put this out there to the community. Are you excited to use slash invest in XRP Plus? And you're not, again, they're trying to discourage that uh, it's not about investing. It's only about using. Look, we're going to trade. If it's a cryptocurrency, it's going to trade. Best believe that. And, uh, you know, only 26% of the people out there right now currently uh, are are excited about this. Now, my posts don't get new reach or a large reach on my new account here. I only got 98 votes, but it gives us an idea here. The excitement's not there like we saw with Flare and, uh, you know, other new chains. And part of this probably because there's no airdrop and no, you know, free money, I guess. But people get excited in a hurry if it's good, and I, I expect it will. So, once we launch, there's going to be some tokens on that network that don't have to be transferred over. We'll see the supply, uh, how much is actually on the market trading, and then what's the value. And that will tell me at that time uh, if it might be worth an investment. So we'll see this progress. Again, looking for big things out of XRP Plus and the Zahao sidechain, I guess is what we're calling it now. Uh, but I can't begin to speculate how successful or not this will be. We're going to have to see it play out, see that thing launch, and we will go from there. Uh, this is such a weird story. Ben. Uh, BitBoy essentially has been fired from BitBoy Crypto. How is that possible? And they are citing substance abuse, things like that. I'm not going to speculate. All I'll say is this. Uh, we all have problems. If there is any reality there, uh, I hope BitBoy uh, gets help. Please reach out to anyone out there. I, I, we're all part of this big community, and I hope BitBoy uh, can lean on that. And if he needs help, I don't know if there's any truth to that, that he gets the help he needs. Beyond that, you know, i got to tell you, he has a huge crew there and investors, stuff like that. It's a lot better for him, I would think, at this point in time to get fired and separate from them. Because without Ben, that channel is nothing. You know, it's not going to be successful ultimately. And if Ben could just launch his own thing without all these other people, you know, taking a cut, taking a piece of his money, ultimately he will end up better. Uh, so at this point in time, it's all about Ben. And, uh, you know, if there's any truth to, to the rumors out there, hopefully he can get beyond this. He has before. Uh, and I'm sure he can again. And again, if he relaunches this thing and he doesn't have all these people dragging on him and taking cuts of the money and stuff like that, he's done it once, he could do it again. Uh, but I don't believe that BitBoy Crypto 
the channel can succeed without him. He is the star there. He is what drives the value. And if I was them, and there was any truth to the things they're saying, I would just be pushing to get him the help he needs because I would know this is my meal ticket. This is the guy bringing in the views, making the money. No one's going to care about the rest of them, to be quite honest. We'll see it progress again. Very strange story out there for BitBoy. Uh, and hopefully he gets by this and launches a new channel or takes back control of his channel. Because this is kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, Hugo saying there's going to be a Flare Space, a new one, on the 5th of September. And I got to tell you, we're, we're past the launch. Everything's been stable. I got to believe at some point here, something significant's coming. We're going to have advancements in this network. I don't know if there's going to be anything on this Flare Spaces announced. But I, I think it's coming sooner than later. Again, it's a general progression to this, right? You got to launch the network. You got to get everything functioning. We've had airdrop after airdrop go with no problem. People are staking, no issues there. It's about time. So uh, again, I don't have any info. I don't know if something's going to be announced on September 5th. But if not, you know, I think it's just around the corner. We're going to get some big stuff out of Flare. And, uh, you know, the lower that price goes, the more I keep buying because uh, I think we got good value there. And I, I do believe that this network is going to do big things. Wasn't happy with the airdrop. Uh, you know, the original one, the very first one. Uh, but we're by that. And it seems like there's not a lot of drama, not a lot of problems. It's not easy to launch and build blockchains. And if we can move beyond that and continue just being rock solid and uh, having no issues, I think Flare will do really well. Uh, lastly, I put up this uh, a chart. I left XRP out of it because if I put XRP on the vote, it's going to garner all the votes. It doesn't tell me much. So I was asking people, if you could put your entire portfolio, you had to, in just one coin for the next bull run, which would it be? Would it be ADA, Ethereum, XLM, and HBAR? And I wasn't expecting Ethereum to do well, but I really wanted to compare ADA, XLM, and HBAR. Look at that, 50%, a little over 50% of the votes think HBAR is, is the way to go. 25% on XLM. I'm really surprised on ADA, only 10%. I'm telling you, and I hear people in my videos saying it's a scam, it's a, a ghost network, it's all of these things. They're doing real work over there, people. I'm not telling you to you know, load your entire portfolio into ADA. That's not the point of this. But uh, I would be looking at that. You know, I think that there's going to be some great buying opportunities in front of us. I think it's poised for a really good bull run once we get going again. It's one of the top chains in the world time and time month and month you know in terms of ongoing development that's what really matters i think it's built good for the bot from the bottom up uh to scale to be able to tack on addi additional functionality and i wouldn't go to sleep on ada now here's the thing that i would ask you let me know down below should i be looking at hbar because i don't have any hbar and billy the xrp cowboy he's been telling me for a long time you know this is a chain you got to take serious Minus Wells, now a big fan. I think he's been listening to Billy. He's now all about HBAR, and I'm sitting here, and I don't have any. Am I making a mistake here? Let me know down below if I should you know, take a look at this HBAR. If there's something there, am I missing out by not having any in my portfolio? And as always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.